So we're kind of just starting how to leave stuff alone. Yes. And I'm just basically rewarding her for not going after what she wants, which is like the cheese. I'm just kind of making sure she can't necessarily get to it and get rewarded by it. That was an oops on my part. Yes. And it's just the basic part of uh, starting to leave it. It's making good decisions. Yes. But she can't have her paws on the couch. There can't be any of that stuff going on. Yes. 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 And when do I start queuing anything? Only when she's really reliable about not jumping up and trying to get it. I could start it here. Leave it. Yes. Get it. Good girl. But she's got to be doing the behavior before I cue it, before I mark it, before I pay it. Those are literally the four steps in teaching any behavior. Get the behavior you want to occur, which right now I want her to back off, which is good. Then you cue it. Leave it. Then you mark it. Yes. And then you reach for your treat and you pay it. Four steps to getting any behavior you want to occur. Get the behavior to occur, whether it's lured or captured. I do not use force. I let them make those decisions. And then I cue it, then I mark it, then I pay it. And that works for aggression and anxiety. Leave it. Yes. Good girl. And then I can say, good girl. You want to come out for hugs? Do you want to come out for hugs? Do you want to bone? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on up. And I just help her up. There we go. Because she's still a little too small for that stuff. Huh. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. That was very good girl. Very good girl. There you go. And there's more cheese in that bone. It is that simple.